on extra TV. I'll tell you what, I'm in a great mood tonight, Dan. You want to know why? I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by switching. <laughs> Mr. Madison Avenue, I'll get. But you know, tonight, this week, we've got a big eight-man tag against a couple of old nemeses of mine. And they are slated to face Al Getz Enterprises, but you know, I never said which members of Al Getz Enterprises would partake in tonight's beating. So, at this point, I would like to make an official substitution. And I've got a special treat, a special surprise for all these fans, even though they don't deserve it. Why don't you get in the swing and make me shut up, you retard? I'm begging you. Al, please, before my Medicare kicks in. You want me to in. shut up? Why don't you shut me up? People have been trying for two years to shut me up, and no one's done it yet, and it's not going to happen tonight. But I want to introduce a man who excels in whatever he does. As a matter of fact, he is without a doubt the greatest natural athlete in Wildside. Please welcome Ray Gordy. Yes, it's Ray Gordy, who previously made his intentions clear as being a member of Al Getz Enterprises a number of weeks back. Ray Gordy. Well, it looks like the Sugar Show Tempers is going to be sitting this one out. But, uh, yeah, I bet he will. Yeah. I bet he will. Somehow, I don't believe he'll, he'll be out of the match. He, he's only here in spirit, right? <laughs> what kind of spirit does Sean Tempers? Regardless, that's another issue for another day. As the strong style psycho tank trying to tie up Jeff Lewis like a pretzel, and Lewis awfully pleased that he's not dead right now. That could probably change in a few minutes, I would think. Collar and elbow tie up, waist lug by tank. Takes the like. And definitely showing the amateur superiority here over Jeff Lewis. Wait a minute, no. Jeff Lewis, some nice amateur wrestling of his own. And that's against somebody who was a very successful collegiate wrestler who actually went to college on a wrestling scholarship. And a big form across the face of the feature presentation. And a swift kick to the kidneys. And a desperate tag out to a guy who's a bit of a strong style himself, namely Jason Blackman. And a hip toss from Tank. And a Jason Blackman is going through some serious pain at this moment. Tag made into the no pain train. 600 plus pounds in the corner. Ouch. And add another 300 or so behind that drop kick. And what you have, good God! Jason Blackman was 21. And it's breaking down here as all of Al Getz Enterprises run in as well. As Skeeter Frost and Sweet Dreams, all this is breaking down before our very eyes. As I'm going to go and envy referee Jamie Tucker here. Al Getz Enterprises regrouping at ring size. Whatever attack plan they had, they better go to plan B, plan C, D, E, yeah, probably down the L by now. How on earth do you even prepare for Iceberg, Tank, Sweet Dreams, and Skeeter Frost all in one matchup? How do you do it? I'm stumped. Big forearm from the no paint train. Jason Blackman is content continues to get rocked by the Iceberg. Irish whip by the Iceberg. High back body drop on Blackman. Oh! And the fine drop of a doom. You know, I think Jason Blackman might be ripe for the pinning. Just a hunch, of course. And Tank back in. It's really Tank and Iceberg been doing all the dirty work. Good God! Double belly stomp into a centon backsplash. The strong style psycho has come to destroy tonight. I think Jason Blackman might be the first man to leave Al Getz Enterprises and not by his own choice. Skeeter Frost slides in there, gets the pin, two count only. But uh, hey, you can't blame him for trying. He, he had plenty of damage to work on. 
High leg lariat by Frost. Jason Blackman is being dismantled. Can't say I've seen Blackman on this end of so much punishment. But with that four-man tag team facing him in the facing him right across the ring, I can, can certainly understand why. And a pair of clotheslines setting Blackman down once again. And all of Algets Enterprises look awfully concerned. And the only thing going through Jason Blackman's mind, other than the fist of sweet dreams, has got to be, please somebody tag me out. Sweet dreams with a bit of a shucking and a jiving, followed up by a elbow that's a hell of a lot more ruthless than the uh, shucking and driving. Jeff Lewis in the break of that pin attempt. It tells you the fish don't fry in the kitchen and the beans don't burn on the grill. Well, now we got to pay a copyright. Thanks a lot, Dragon. Hey, evil publishers. Skater Frost, well-placed drop kick to the face of Blackman. His bell is officially rung. Uh, I think it was rung about two minutes ago. Ace Rockwell stepping in to, to try to pick up the pieces here. As Algas Enterprise is not faring too well thus far. Ace Rockwell re specifically requesting Sweet Dreams. Maybe Ace Rockwell knows where Sweet Dreams Achilles heel is. And it looks like the, the heel of Sweet Dreams clocked Ace Rockwell right on the head. Yeah, that Achilles heel, heel was firmly in his face. Nice spear by Sweet Dreams. Sweet Dreams is virtually unrecognizable from the athlete we saw here a year ago. Leaner, meaner, and boy, he's got it all in order. Ducks in a row, Sweet Dreams. Oh, here comes Peter Frost. Two rolling suplexes and a reverse face planted suplex. So the two count there. Rockwell still not enough. Not hammered down, not beaten down enough. And a blind tag. In comes Ray Gordy. And Ray Gordy is the member of Al Getz Enterprises that the team of Iceberg Tank Sweet Dreams of Skeeter Frost had not anticipated being part of this matchup. No, they didn't, and, and actually, th there's been a friendship between Gordy Tank and Iceberg in the past, so it's, it's going to be interesting to see how this goes with this current matchup and the landscape of things. I think whatever friendship Gordy had with uh, Tank and Iceberg, I think it's long since been forgotten. Well, they, they don't appear to be gazing at him with any favor. Frankly, Tank and Iceberg being friends with anybody is still kind of a hard thing to swallow. Fisherman suplex by Gordy. Beautiful bridge. Two count. Not enough to take out Skeeter Frost. The spirit of Ray Gordy's father, the legendary Terry Bam Bam Gordy, in plain evidence here tonight. Boy, Al gets out. I thank his lucky stars. He's got Ray Gordy working on his behalf. I think it's very clear that Al Getz has assembled the next generation of NWA Wildside here. He's got really all the top prospects of, of the new generation of Wildside wrestlers right here in one group. So that look, it's obvious what he's going for here. Now Jeff Lewis and Ace Rockwell double teaming Skeeter Frost. And Ray Gordy is the pearl of the enterprise, so to speak now. The, the caveat. And Skeeter Frost now being subject to the wrath of one half of pop and circumstance. And Skeeter Frost, wrong corner. Boy, Skeeter fighting back. With all that wrestling talent in that corner, that's pretty impressive, but, but so was that. Rolling vertical, locks in the front face lock. Almost a version of the Misawa face lock. I, uh, very prominent Japanese wrestling superstar who Ray Gordy had a lot of training under in and pro wrestling NOAA in Japan. And the peripheral vision of Ray Gordy seeing both Tank and Iceberg climbing into the ring breaks up that hold in a hurry. Good defensive posture if you're still getting clocked by Tank and Iceberg, that's for sure. Now Ace Rockwell opening up now on the oft abused Skeeter Frost. Skeeter in desperate steps for desperate need of a tag. 
But alas, Frost is nowhere near the tagging hands of Tank, Iceberg, or Sweet Dreams. Frost are able to fire back a series of elbows and Rockwell goes sailing. What does Frost have left in his tank? He's absorbed a lot of punishment here. Is he going to attempt a high-risk maneuver? He and is it going to be in his favor? Wait a minute. He does manage to land on his feet even though Rockwell out of the way. Block of a punch. Both men going for first blood here. And it is Frost that strikes there. A clever, a clever move on the part of Skeeter Frost, particularly in the shape that he's in at this present. All Skeeter has to do is look briefly to his right. He can tag Tank. He's right behind him. Skeeter paid, oh, and in comes Tank, and the complexion of the match has just changed. The strong style psycho cleaning up with relative ease. Well, there you see the friendship between Gordy Tank and Iceberg as Tank buries his forearms into Gordy's skull. Sean Tempers sneaking around the ring. Tank telling him to get the hell away. I don't think Tank has seen that he's got a chair. All Tank sees right now is Ray Gordy. Tank and Ray Gordy, I believe, are the two legal men here. Sean Tempers hanging on to the leg of Tank. Oh, Lord Almighty! Tank just got clocked by that chair! Ray Gordy has rolled up Tank! Oh my God, he just pinned Tank! Ladies and gentlemen, your winners, Al Getz Enterprises! As you theorized early on in this matchup, Sean Tempers did get involved and clocked Tank on the head with that chair!